What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to Forza Horizon 5 once again. And in this video, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of the video, I'm going to show you guys the leveling system in this game. Every single type of reward system that you can actually think of in this game, I'm going to show it to you and explain everything to you. I've made a similar video like this back on Horizon 4 whenever that came out, so I thought I'd make it here as well. I felt like I'd helped a lot of people in that video, and um, I guess this one... I hope I help a lot of you guys out. This may be your first time playing any of the Horizon games, or if you're a returning player, there is actually some differences between this game and the last game. If you want to, I guess, you know, find out what those are, then um, I guess stick around and I'll explain everything. So, let's start off. I'm going to go into the menu because everything is pretty much here. I'm going to start off with the leveling system. Top left of your screen, you will have a level. As soon as you level up, you will continuously unlock wheel spins and super wheel spins. So that is your normal leveling system. Now, usually the XP you'll end up getting either at the end of a race or any time you do any sort of skills or whatever. Anything that counts up in the game, it'll give you XP for pretty much anything that you do. You go through a speed trap quickly, you get personal best, you get more stars. Whatever it is that you do in this game, you will continuously get XP. In races, it's more noticeable because you get a higher amount of XP. So whenever you do races or anything like that, you'll you'll get XP for doing it. So that's your normal leveling system. Then at the top right of the screen, you can see that there are accolades. Accolades is another sort of leveling system. You will not have it look exactly like that. Um, basically, with the accolade system, if I go into Horizon Adventure, uh, you will end up unlocking all these different areas. And the different areas, as you can see, the tick marks on the left side... Um, pretty much indicates when you level up a, the, the accolades, pretty much, right? So as soon as you get a specific amount of accolades, you'll end up uh, getting to the point where you unlock a tick. So you unlock, let's say, if I go onto this, you'll end up unlocking a uh, showcase event, or you'll end up unlocking the story, stuff like that. So it's for pretty much every single one of these. So once you finish unlocking all of these with those accolades, you will end up being entered into the Hall of Fame, and that's why your accolade points at the top right are being counted up continuously. Now, you can do it, again, by pretty much doing anything. Doing races, doing any sort of... I'll show you guys exactly what it is. If you do races, if you do any skills or anything like that, everything is here and it's listed out for you on what will actually give you accolades. So, obviously, the easiest one, I guess, was the Expeditions ones, because you just sort of have to visit places. And it's, again, for every single part of the map... And as you can see at the bottom of your screen, you get a specific amount of accolades, which is this one, for example, you get 750. And that'll get added on to, again, your uh, your unlocking of the rest of the festivals and all the showcase events and stuff like that. Uh, but like I said, once you get into the Hall of Fame, it'll just continuously add the points at the top right of the screen. And um, yeah, I guess that's another leaderboard system that will, well, it is already in the game, but you will be able to see it once you fully finished everything off. And um, yeah, and with these accolades, you get rewards as well. So the more of these you do, there's specific things. Like I said, it tells you exactly what you need to do. For example, this one is complete the jungle expedition. Once you complete that, you get a prize of a car. Um, again, there are other prizes as well that you can get here. Let's go to something else. If I go to Welcome to Mexico, this one, you can get a watch, for example. But it is still the same thing. You do whatever it tells you to do. And then you get a specific amount of accolades added on. So this is just another way of earning specific prizes and uh, and other things in the game. And also a leveling system for the Hall of Fame. So if you want to end up doing that, if that's something that you'd like to try out, then feel free to do so. Now, <laughs> let's go into the skill point. The skill points are another thing which will level up your car mastery. For example, this guy here, I only have two points. I've pretty much spent a lot of them. And uh, very easy to get skill points. Skill points are pretty much, as you can see at the top of the screen, I have a song playing right now, actually, which I... This is probably the best time to do anything to do with skill points because it levels up a lot quicker. So you see it goes up by 0.2 instead of the 0.1 that it usually goes up in. And uh, there are specific cards that you can unlock and you can get that will end up leveling up your, your skill chain that you're doing right now. It'll end up leveling it up a lot quicker than now. And usually it's around, don't get more than 500,000 points because that just means that you'll you'll just be capped pretty much at 10 skill points. So I think, I'm pretty sure it takes 50,000 points for one full level. And I'll show you guys now because I'm over that. So if I do this and I stop and everything counts up, you'll see that little wheel turn. And once I, you know, fill the entire wheel around, I guess, um, it'll go up 
a level. And you'll get a, well, not a level, but you'll get up another skill point. So as you can see, it went up two. So now I have four skill points. Um, so that's pretty much how that system works. Now, what can you do with these skill points? You can unlock more things. This one, for example, it gives you more XP. This will give you a free super wheel spin. Oh, sorry, two super wheel spins on this guy, for example. Uh, you can get more credits. You can get more things to help you with gaining skill points quicker. Like there are a car, or there is a car that I made a video on, um, which is the Hoonigan, or sorry, the Hoonicorn, which is really, really good for doing stuff like this because you can also get that multiplier to go up to eight, I think, or seven. So, not only that, but you can also, pretty much, it helps you just level up a lot quicker, everything. So, doing drifts and stuff like that. Uh, but there are a bunch of different types of cars that will help you do uh, stuff like that, very similarly to the to the Hoonicorn. But um, yeah, that, that is just, like, one of the best cars to do that with. And you can just farm these skill points. You can use them on any car. Uh, you don't have to do specific skill points, and you have to use the skill points on the same car. You can use them on every car that you want, pretty much. Um, but yeah, that is another leveling system, and it's also another way to get some free stuff, you know, pretty simple stuff, and that'll also earn you more money, uh, which is another reason why people constantly keep asking me, it's like, how do I have so much money? It's like, just, let's just play the game, like, there's nothing really special about it. Um, another thing, car collection has also been added into the game, this was similar to, Her oh, sorry, Forza Motorsport 7. Um, there was a system like this in that game as well. So obviously once you finish and in, you unlock pretty much every single car out of this list You'll end up with a prize uh, for some of them you get XP for others you get uh, Accolade points if I can find them uh, Or credits even or super wheel spins like there's just Yeah, it's, it's either credits or, or or XP pretty much I think from what I can see here add cars as well for some of them but that's pretty much how that works. So you just unlock all the cars that are in that make, and you just get a prize at the end. That's pretty much it. You can also buy the cars from here. Like, let's say you have, you know, all of the cars, except except for the one car that you cannot get. Um, you can just press Y and, and buy the thing, right? And you'll end up getting it. The price is extremely expensive for some of these cars if you end up buying them. Um, but, yeah, again, just level up. Just play the game. You'll unlock them eventually anyway, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. And I think... Now, the last thing is uh, the festival playlist. The festival playlist is the last leveling system that you get in this game. So the way this works is you also get uh, points here, which will, again, level up the spar or move it up pretty much. And um, obviously, 16 points I needed to get the Alpine and then 26 points to get the Honda NSX. I haven't actually gotten that yet, which I probably should. But... Pretty self-explanatory. You just get points from doing any of these events that you see here. Anything gives you points that you see on this list here. Um, this gives you three. These usually give, I think, five points. Again, you just level up. Just do exactly what it tells you and you level everything up. These are all the seasonal events, so these will change weekly uh, to something else. These ones at the very, very end here are usually the monthly events. As you can see, it's like literally there's a green line that tells you it's the monthly events. Um, there's challenges and stuff like that, and uh, there's a lot of rare cars, hard to find cars, as you can see, that will be put up uh, on this, so you just unlock them whenever you get them. The Force of shop is the one thing that, at the moment, I think it's shut down up until I think the game fully releases, but in the Force of shop, you are able to get two cars, and a normal wheel spin and a super wheel spin, and I think a piece of clothing or like an emote or something like that. That's usually how the Force of shop looks whenever you go to try and buy something there. Now, you use Force of points for this. So, as you can see here, if you're doing this challenge, right, one of the daily challenges, you not only do you get one point, which will basically add on to this, right, to get these cars, but you also get 10 Force of points, which is on the bottom right of that same square, and um, you use that in the Forza Town shop. At the moment, I don't have any points. I'm uh, sorry, I don't have uh, the Forza Town shop to show you exactly how many Forza Town points I have. I have a bunch of them. I just don't know exactly how many because I can't open the shop because I think they shut it down just for maintenance or something. But uh, there, again, there's like rare cars in there. There's rare remotes. And, and again, if you want to buy a wheel spin or super wheel spins, you can use your points to do that. Um, and uh, there's other ways that you can get these uh, these Force of points as well, and that's by doing these Horizon Arcade events. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get 10 Force of points per um, level, so I think there's like three levels on this uh, event, pretty much. So if you complete all three of them, then you get 30. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, the more you play the game, the more you ha like get the hang of it, and uh, it's, it's pretty easy to understand. But, um, 
yeah, I guess that is pretty much it with the whole leveling system. I don't think there is anything else. The creator hub, I guess, if you share or do anything, um, people will end up downloading your tunes. I can't believe I actually have 1,400 downloads already on this on this account. That's crazy. Anyway, people will download. As you can see, you have a rank here as well. You'll rank up. I don't really know exactly what you get for ranking up. If it's a similar thing to Horizon 4, then I think, I think you can sell your cards for uh, a higher price or something like that. But for at the moment... It doesn't look like you really get anything from doing this. You will, however, get credits. So credits, which will usually end up um, in your message center. You'll be able to see your daily payouts, which will come out here. So every time someone downloads the tune, uses the tune, likes it, anything like that, um, it'll get put into this list here. And you'll be able to pretty much just download the money that, that you get for it. It's not a lot of money that you get, but you do get some just from people using your tunes or your designs or your blueprints or anything like that that you end up putting up for um, for people to use i guess that's it i really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video uh if you did please subscribe it helps out a lot more than you think uh trying to reach a goal of 350k subs before the end of the year which again like i said it will help a lot if you guys decide to sub again like the video if you found it informative and uh, you thought it was useful and i guess that's it i guess i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you again very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.